<laughs> we have right. a Chewini puppy out on the patio. Never heard of such a thing, but Dan is out there with this mm -hmm. puppy. Yes, we have two puppies, Aww. you guys. Not just one puppy, two puppies. And guess what? Their combination, Chihuahua and Dachshund. Dachshund. And what are we, good morning, Janet. What do we call these? These are Chewinis. Chewinis is yes. what they call them. They actually have a name, they so do. it's a Chihuahua. And, and a dachshund because yep. of the weenie, you know. Exactly. Yeah, it's a weenie. It's exactly. very cute. So you are the group that uh, is Rescue Without Borders, and right. you have gone down, and these are from Mexico. They are. They were rescued off the street um, by a good Samaritan wandering around, like almost getting hit by cars together. They're little sisters, Mia and Tia. Oh. And so we brought them back, had them quarantined down there, and then they've been back up here for a couple months. And they are up to date on their shots and ready to go. What is the process of getting them across the border? Is it difficult? It, it's not difficult, but you just have to follow the process. You see a, you see a, a vet down there, yeah. they do the first shots, sometimes fix them down there, sometimes not, and then they just have to quarantine for a certain amount of time before they come back. Right, and you guys are busy. I mean, you, uh, you could probably be down there every day. How often do you go yeah. down? Well, we have people in the group who live down there. Yeah. So they find them and talk with people down there and then do the, do the <laughs> transport back up here. My goodness. So. Well, they seem pretty happy to be here. They are sweethearts. Yeah. They are sweethearts. And they could be adopted together or separately, whichever works best for people. They're, they love to be together, but, you know, everyone can't adopt two dogs at a time. Mm-hmm. So yeah, they certainly get along well. They do. They're, They're very mellow. They're very mellow. Yeah. They're about three and a half months old, and uh, they are ready for action. You know, They're ready to go. They're just typical puppies. They play hard and they sleep hard. Oh, they so. sure are cute. They're adorable. I mean, They're every good. time we bring in little puppies into the newsroom, the whole place gets a little more nice. Oh, everyone. It gets was, a little nicer. It does. It's like a big soft hello. <laughs> it, really, it really is. You just can't you just can't have anxiety when no, you're holding a puppy. You can't. You just you just can't There's do no it. There's no way. So all right, how do we get a hold of you? Well, this weekend on Saturday we have an uh, an event at the Petco in Claremont oh, from good. ten to two. Mm -hmm. Ten to noon, sorry, ten to noon. Okay. And you can go to our website, Animal Rescuers Without Borders, it's ARWOB.org. And go and look, there's about 25 dogs that'll be there, all different sizes, shapes, and temp temperaments. Mm -hmm. And you can fill out an application beforehand if you want to adopt or to foster, and then come see them on Saturday. All right, and yeah. is there a cost of any kind? There's a cost associated with each dog to adopt. Yeah. yeah depending on the, how the age, the younger they are, the more expensive they are. All the right. older dogs are a little less expensive. Well, very so. good. So you save them off the streets of Mexico, bring them to the land of milk and honey, <laughs> and uh, we will find them homes here today. Absolutely. Well, thanks so much, Janet. Thank you. Thanks for coming in, doing great work there with these guys. Thanks. I know they thank you. Mm -hmm. they right do. there, they just mm -hmm. thank you. Mm -hmm. All right, we'll be right back. <laughs> thank you.